In this video, we're going over how to mirror your Moto G stylus to a TV. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the mobile technology coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. Today we're going to be showing you how to mirror your Moto G stylus to your TV. Now you will need a couple of things to make this work. So the first thing is you will need an HD TV that has an HDMI. Second, you will need home Wi-Fi. And third, you will need a Chromecast. I have a link below in the description of where you can purchase a Chromecast if you don't have one and also how to set one up in case you need to set one up let's go ahead and jump right into the process so you're going to go to the play store and you're going to look for an app called google home all you need to do is just type in home in the search and look for this app and download it open it up and then you're going to swipe down from the top of your screen and make sure you are connected to wi-fi Make sure this is turned on and you are connected. And make sure you're on the same network as your Chromecast. Now this is the main screen of the Google Home app. Now I'm gonna show you two different methods to mirror your screen. So the first method I'm gonna show you is how to uh, mirror everything that's on your screen to the TV. So anything you do will show up on the TV. The second method is gonna be just mirroring uh, video. So if you wanted to play something from YouTube or Netflix or Hulu, you can play it um, just by sending the, the video to the TV, but still use your phone to do other things. So let's go ahead and start with the first method. So you're gonna look for on this screen here, you will see um, this little icon right here. And this is your basically your Chromecast icon. And what you're gonna do is just tap on this icon. Now yours is gonna be named specific to how you set yours up. So I've named my Chromecast Michael Scott Paper Company. So I'm just gonna tap on this, but yours might say office or home, whatever room you assigned it to, that's what's gonna show up there. So I'm gonna just tap on this icon right here. And then at the bottom of the screen, I'm gonna tap cast my screen. So tap cast my screen, and then tap cast screen, and then hit start now. And then you will see that now your phone is showing up on the TV and everything you do on your phone is now gonna show up on the TV. So for example, if I were to go back to that Google Play app and rotate this, the phone sideways, it's gonna show up just like that. And everything you do um, is gonna show up right along on the TV. So you can go to any app you can think of, you can play a game, you can um, show pictures from a trip, you can open your camera and it'll show whatever's on your camera. Um, if you're trying to show uh, maybe something from YouTube or like a, a video that's in your video gallery, you can just go to that and simply play it. I'm gonna just open up a quick YouTube video and make sure my volume is turned down. You will be able to control the volume of the TV uh, from your phone, so that's an important thing to note. So again, I can just play uh, a video here and you'll see that it's gonna play on the TV and if you wanna get it into full screen, you'll just tap the screen and tap on this little square in the corner and then that will take it into the full screen so you can see it nice and big. Now, this is a cool method when you wanna show someone a quick video, um, but it's not the most efficient method because uh, as you'll know, what if you want to use your phone while you're showing the video? You can't because you're completely mirroring your screen. Now, I'm going to show you a second method that I think you're going to like a little bit better if you're trying to show like a movie or something um, a little bit longer on your screen, you'll want to do this method. So uh, just pause the video and I'm going to swipe down from the top of the screen here and you'll see your Chromecast is going to show up in your menu here and I'm just going to tap where it says casting screen. It'll take me back to the Google Home app. Or actually you can swipe down with two fingers here. And now I have a disconnect button. We're gonna hit disconnect. And now we're gonna show you the second way to mirror your screen, which is simply um, going to the video that you wanna play. So I'm already on the video right now. I'm in YouTube. And you're gonna look for this icon. It's called your cast icon. In just about every video app, you will see this icon show up as long as you're connected to a Wi-Fi and your Chromecast is set up. Now you can tap on this icon and it'll just say cast to, and I'm gonna say 
Michael Scott Paper Co. because that's what my Chromecast is named. And now it's just going to mirror the video. Let's pause that. Now it's just going to mirror the video to the TV. So now as you can see on the TV, you're just seeing the video, but I can now I can use my phone to do other things. So I can still send text messages. I can go online. I have full use of my phone while um, the video is playing. And I think this is just the better way to do it. So here we can then swipe down from the top. If when you're ready to pause that video or even to, you know, stop it from playing, you just hit the X and the video will stop playing and then the cast will stop. So these are two different methods on how you can mirror your screen to your TV. Now for, if you have a Roku or a Fire TV stick, this should also work, um, but only for the second option, just being able to cast the video. It won't let you do the mirroring the entire screen to the TV. So just something important to note there. So. Uh, a lot of people ask, and you may be asking yourself, well, I have a smart TV. Can I just mirror it without using Wi-Fi? Um, in most cases, you can't. Um, so it just kind of is what it is. And then um, this phone doesn't support the ability to plug in a direct cable from the phone to your TV as well. So this really is one of the only ways to show what's on your phone wirelessly on your TV. So. Just wanted to kind of make that clear at the end of the video here. Hope you guys did find this helpful. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button, like the video, favorite and share it, and we'll catch you in the next video. Well, again, also have a link below in the description where you can buy a Chromecast or any other uh, cool accessories for your phone that you may like. We have a whole list. So in the description, just click on the link below and you'll, you'll find all that cool stuff down there. Thanks again for watching, guys. Take care, and as always, have a good one.